comes to graduate study, um, a lot of there's a lot of expenses to consider. So how do you typically advise students on how they might expect to finance their degree? It's a great question, and financing your education and going to graduate school is a big financial investment. And so students should think about how to best do that and make it manageable. There's two types, there's merit-based aid and there's need-based aid. Merit-based aid is typically in the form of scholarships and uh, gift aid. And then otherwise, the majority is gonna be out of need-based aid, which is what you would fill out the FAFSA for, just similar to what you have done in undergrad. Uh, at the graduate and professional level, there's a lot more limited options in terms of loans, and typically it's in the form of federal student loans, so direct, subs unsub direct unsubsidized and direct plus loans. So there's not a lot of options in that area, but it does help the student really prepare for what they can expect in aid if they're eligible. So it's important for students to really spend some time and look into those merit-based aid options, whether institutional or third party. So spending some time looking to outside scholarships uh, and other fellowship opportunities. So uh, it's important to think of what you're coming in with, but then also what the, uh, the end goal is going to be. So after you graduate, what are the kind of repayment plans that you can do? And even though students are gonna most likely have to take some, if not a lot of federal uh, student loans, there's a lot of great repayment plans to make that manageable for especially students going into the world of uh, international and public affairs, working for nonprofits and government uh, in terms of uh, the public service student loan, public service loan forgiveness programs and um, uh, income-based repayment. So it's important for students to think of both ends, what's coming in and then and how you're going to pay for it at the end and making it manageable.